If you've been watching my channel, then you know that I have created a course on how to publish children's books. And today I want to show you something special. Hello, home bosses. My name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you something really exciting, something very dear to my heart and something very special. I've got a Black Friday promotion for my children's book course and uh, I'll tell you about that in a little while. But before we go into that, I wanted to show you something really special. And these are books that my students have created in my course. I shouldn't call them students because they're published authors now. And I just had to show you some of their books because I just think they're amazing. So when I created my course, I never thought that people would be creating such amazing books. They're really stunning. I've, I've been blown away by the quality of the books that they have been creating. And uh, I started publishing children's books shortly after I started Amazon KDP, which was in November 2019. And I think I started creating children's books a few months after that. Once I had created some low content books, I moved into higher content and uh, children's books. And I started to create a regular income with them. And I wanted that for other people too. So I had the idea of creating a course for others to publish children's books in the way that I published them, which was by using ready-made images from Creative Fabrica, Creative Market and uh, other places like that. But never did I think that I would see so much creativity, so many good ideas, so many beautiful stories and uh, such lovely books from my students because I'm telling you, they're absolutely stunning. I'm going to show you some examples and I'm going to start with this one, which is Firefly and Ladybug's Favourite Day by Marsha Peterson. Marsha, I think you have created a really beautiful book here. I'm blown away by the cover. It's so cute. I think that you, you've got a winner here. And uh, this book is about two non-related puppies that move into a new home and they have adventures together. And the topic of this book is to teach children about becoming best friends with someone that they are not like at all. So these two little dogs are very different, but they become friends. And uh, the story kind of teaches children to do the same. So it's about making friends with people that you would normally maybe not make friends with. I think that's a really valuable lesson. I think the story is written in a really lovely way. And Marsha has used the images really well to support her story. So that's what I really like about this book. And I think she has used a very consistent style of images. I think she's put it together beautifully. I really, I really think that, um, this is, this is just a lovely book to read to your child as well. I can see children being really mesmerized by the story as well and by the images. They're really lovely. It's very entertaining. I actually really enjoyed reading this, even though I'm not a child, but I love children's stories anyway. Who doesn't? And it's such a dear little story. Marsha, you've created a great book and a great story for children. And uh, I wish you every success with this. I'm sure this is a winner. And the next book I wanted to show you is... Anya's Magical Unicorn Ride. I hope that I've pronounced the name correctly. I know a girl called Anya. That's why I thought I'd pronounce it like that. Maybe it's Anya, but I think I'm going to say Anya if you don't mind. And this book is by Cheryl K. Nelthrop. I hope I've pronounced that correctly as well, Cheryl. I think you've created a stunning looking book. This is a really lovely looking book. It has a, a really lovely story as well. And it's a story about a girl called Anya who desires things that she doesn't have. And uh, I think this is a really good lesson for children because um, she stumbles across a unicorn named Yuri and they find out that having money or things doesn't make you happy. And I think this is a really good lesson for, for any of us. So this is a book about being grateful, mindfulness and being appreciative. And I really like how she's put this book together. Um, there's some 
beautiful images here. Let me show you. I hope you can see this. So beautiful storytelling and uh, just really lovely images. I think you've used the images in such a great way and the storytelling is simple yet very effective and uh, it's all it's full of adventures and creatures and the kind of things that kids really like so Cheryl I think you've researched this book really well and uh, it looks stunning it really is a great book I like how you've used the images and I love how they support your story so you've done a really great job so this is Cheryl's book and yes magical unicorn ride and she's even won two awards here so well deserved I am so proud of everyone in the course and uh, so proud of Cheryl for receiving these two awards for her book well done and uh, this leads us to our next book which is the best day ever by natalie iseli chan i hope i pronounced your name correctly natalie i love your book this is a brilliant book the way you've put together the images i love the cover that you have created it's a very different style you can see how everybody has a very different and unique style and that's what I love about these books that no book is the same even though everybody followed the same course they've created really unique special books all of them and uh, this is um, Natalie's book and Natalie's book is a really um, unique story and a really niched topic and I think that it's a really good idea to make these kind of books in topics that are very niche but that are also helping people because this book is about adoption it's about how to how to explain to a child that they're adopted it is about discussing adoption with your child maybe you want to start talking to your adoptive children about adoption and it talks about the process and I like how this is very generic this could apply to any adoption process it's a really inclusive book and uh, I really love that about it and it's for everybody who would like to start a conversation with their child about adoption and uh, I'll show you a little bit how it looks inside it's um it's called the best day ever and I think that tells you a lot about where that book is heading it's um, also very interactive because Natalie has included bits in the book where you can enter your own information so it kind of turns it into a keepsake book and uh, it's absolutely lovely I love it it's stunning anybody that uh, wants to talk about adoption with their child or hasn't uh, has gone through adoption this is such a beautiful book to have you can see how cohesive the images are again and how well they are put together so you can personalize the book with your child's unique birth story and uh, she also says that at the back the last section of the book is specifically dedicated to your child's own unique birth placement and adoption story and she mentions the narrative is effortlessly adaptable to all adoption stories parents can easily build up on the story by adding their own anecdotes um, as they read so beautiful book perfect topic for a children's book it's very niche but that is a great thing because sometimes it's better to make very niche books and target a specific audience and that ensures that um, you really find your audience and you're talking to the right audience so sometimes it's better to niche your books rather than target everyone I know that we sometimes think if you if you go very niche you don't have a big audience but you'd be surprised how big this audience is people adopt children all the time it's a huge audience and I really love that Natalie has used her experience um, in creating this book it's beautiful this is The Best Day Ever by Natalie Iseli Chan and uh, I will leave a link to all of the books under this video so that you can look them up and uh, and take a look for yourself I think they are stunning I think I'm, I never imagined that my students would come up with 
such good quality books as their first books, as their first publications. I, of course, thought that they would need to practice and create a few books and then come up with something really special. They've come up with something really special right from the start. So <laughs> I think that is amazing. And uh, I'm so proud of everyone in the course because um, everybody has created some really lovely books and I will showcase more of these books in future videos because I think they're worth seeing and uh, I think if you can support these authors on their journey please do so because they've really put their heart and soul into their books. I think that they deserve every success. What I really like about them is that they're all so unique. They've all used the same system that I teach in my course, but they've created totally unique and different books. And they've used all the concepts that I teach in the course to put their book together. They've um, complemented their storytelling with the illustrations and they've really used the course to their full potential with their visual storytelling. So let me tell you a little bit about the course itself. The course includes detailed tutorial videos, downloadable PDFs and step-by-step -step lessons guiding you through every stage of creating a children's book. And what's more, I'm planning to expand the course next year, adding even more content on book promotion and I will update all the lessons. So that's going to be quite a big update to the course. It's going to be a lot bigger. There's going to be a lot more modules and lessons because when I first created the course, I just wanted to show people how they could actually publish a children's book on Amazon KDP. But I didn't go so much into how to promote your book, how to publish different formats of your book, and maybe even publish on different platforms, not just Amazon KDP. So I will be adding lessons on all of that. So book promotion will be quite a big one as well. So what will happen is that the course will also go up in price because it's going to be so much better and so much bigger and it will be completely up to date. So because of that, the price will go up. But the good news is anybody who already has the course and who buys the course before the upgrade will receive the upgrade free of charge. So it will just be added to the course that you already have. And now is a good time to take advantage of that because I've got a Black Friday promotion that I'm running on this course and also on my other courses. So I'm going to be running a promotion to get 30% off all the courses and that means 30% off this children's book course. So all you have to do is use the code BLACKFRIDAY30 when you're at checkout and that will give you 30% off the course. I will leave more details underneath this video and also a link for the course. And if you're thinking of joining all these lovely authors and uh, joining in creating your own children's book, then now is a good time to take advantage of that because it's 30% off and it will also entitle you to then get the upgrade later on next year when when I upgrade the whole course. So the course will be much more comprehensive and it's worth taking advantage now during the Black Friday sale, which runs from now, from when you're watching this video, the sale is on and it ends on the 1st of December. So don't leave it to the last minute if you're interested and uh, you've got a little bit of time to think about it, go onto my website, check out the course details. But like I said, it will be completely overhauled. It will have new lessons. It will all be updated and uh, it will feel probably like a different course to the people already in the course. So if you want to turn your dream of publishing a children's book into reality, like these lovely students have done, then now is your chance. And uh, I just think these books, I mean, I created a book for the course and I show you the step-by-step -step method that I used to create my book, but actually these are so much better than my own book because I created my book very quickly just to show people how to do it. And uh, what these authors have done is they've just put so much more time and effort into creating their books and they're absolutely lovely. And those of you who have gone through my course, you know the book that I created was 
Monty's Rainbow Road Adventure which teaches the colours of the rainbow and I then created another book which is Monty's Counting Adventure and uh, my books for the course are under the pen name Tina Kid. I haven't made any children's books under my own name in case you were wondering <laughs> where my books are so um, I have different pen names for my different books and uh, again it's a very simple book it just goes through the steps to take to create your book but as you can see actually my students books are so much better <laughs> so you can really um, go to town with your book you can you can use your own ideas you can create a fantastic children's book with this course and uh, I'm so happy for everyone who is generating an income now for themselves and for those of you who want to create an income and uh, uh, get more sales the course will be updated with a huge section just on promoting your books and marketing your books so that should really help to get things going for your books and if you enjoyed this video please like and maybe share this video with people who might want to publish a children's book and please subscribe as well so thank you so much for watching i hope this helped please leave any questions under the video and uh, join my facebook group oh and i forgot to say that i've also got a dedicated facebook group for the course it's just for people who join the course so we can all share ideas and uh, it's a really lovely group it's um, very friendly very there are some really helpful people there and like I said we also have illustrators that can help you illustrate your book if you rather do it that way than using ready-made images and just in case you were wondering if you can make a, an income with children's books, I'll leave you with a video that I created about my income with children's books. You can watch that here and uh, I'll see you again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.